What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I want to introduce you to probably the most underrated space combat game I have ever played. Welcome to Infinity Battlescape. Uh, and this game is amazing. Uh, and let me tell you straight off what separates this from games like Star Citizen uh, or No Man's Sky or other things like that. Because this game actually does have entire landable planets. It has an entire solar system that you can fight over. Uh, you, can, you can go anywhere on any of these planets. But one of the coolest things that this has is this has some of the biggest battles I have ever seen. This game is not an RPG. It's not a role-playing game. This is a competitive team versus team shooter but set in an entirely god set in an entire solar system uh with players and ai fighting along each other in a galactic battle raging 24 7. it is awesome and you have battles that rage on planets in asteroid fields in planetary rings and nebulas just like this all the it's so cool it is probably one of the most epic looking games I've ever played. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's get in here. This is like Mech Warrior in space on an absolute incredible scale. Alright, hold up, we've got a target here. Missiles. Alright, uh... Here we go. So, we currently have capital ships and carriers defending our asteroid station, uh, which is our primary spawn point for our, our team. So, we need to make sure that we protect this station at all costs or we are going to absolutely lose the game. Um, you can actually get credits for destroying different ships. The more credits you have, uh, the bigger ships you will be able to purchase and fly. There are interceptors, bombers, capital ships, carriers, uh, carriers that other players can captain that you can spawn on and we're currently going to try and take out one of these smaller one of these smaller uh, Corvettes all right here we go hold up what is this this looks like a smaller bomber of some kind yep all right here we go I think I'm out of missiles. I'm out of missiles. Blasters. Oh shit. Somebody's shooting at me. Oh god. Oh! Isn't this amazing? This is incredible. Like, this is like Battlestar Galactica cinematic level. This is incredible. Look at this ship just getting torn apart in front of me. God, this is amazing. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't think there's any other game that I can think of where you can, like, play in battles of this scale. Like, this is awesome! Alright, hold up. We've got a whole bunch of mines here. Oh shit! Okay, hold up. We're gonna try to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, okay, we just got destroyed. Um, so if you actually, we, we can actually go through, we can look at all of these different ships uh, that you can actually play as. Uh, this is the entire war zone. So you can see, this is a full-blown solar system um, with a sun and planets that orbit around it. You've got all of these different moons that you're fighting around, uh, and you have all of these different ships that you can play as. Uh, so here's bombers, interceptors, corvettes. We can actually spawn as a corvette now because we uh, we've done enough. We've gotten enough credits where we can actually spawn as a corvette. Um, you can accept different missions, which is pretty cool. So there's like smaller missions within the larger battle. Uh, and then you can obviously attack and capture all sorts of different bases, uh, bases on planets, bases in space. This is, this is so awesome. This, again, this 
game is incredibly underrated. I feel like there, there's not very many people that play this game. Um, like the, the population is really low, but it doesn't matter because it has full single player functionality uh, or cooperative functionality. Like you go in here and there is a battle raging all the time. It doesn't matter when you play. Like, look at this, this is so sick. All right, we're spawning as a Corvette now. Let's see, what kind of weapons do we have? We got Mark IV blasters, Mark IV guns. All right, let's take out this guy. <laughs> All right, hold up. Missile away. And lock. Hit. Missile away. <laughs> this is so sick! All right, let's see here. We're in chase now. Okay, hold up, I lost him. Here is my Corvette that we're currently playing as. I still actually, I, I'm still kind of a noob at this game. I, I'm trying to figure out how all of the different controls work. I know that there's like turret systems and all sorts of other things. Um, but if anybody else is actually, there's not very many people who play this game that I can even learn from. So it's kind of like me having to learn from scratch. All right, let's go ahead and select this guy. Missiles. <laughs> this is so cool. Blasters. Dude, this is incredible. That was a fighter trying to attack me. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, I just collided. Shit, 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 get me out of here. Alright, we're taking damage. Where the hell did he go? Oh, that's a friendly. Oh my god. I'm so fat and slow. And we could actually dock with the station again if we wanted to. Look at this guy getting torn up. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Man, I could play this all day. This this just gets my my heart throbbing. All right, so let me go ahead and show you. I actually want to show you some other things about this game that I think are really cool. Oh god. Uh, let's see if we can actually dock. I'm not really sure if we can, Doc. I think we can. I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Let's get out of here. Whoa! Alright, so we don't want to go there. We want to head to... So there's a bunch of moons in that direction. And we want to head down to the planet that we're currently orbiting. Which is... There it is. Alright, here we go. All right, we have to head this direction. Start building up velocity. And let me show you what what really takes the cake with this game. Because like I said, this game has... Here we go. Warp drive engaging. And bam. Okay. We are now departing. Perfect. Alright, this will speed up real fast. So, not only do you have these awesome, huge battles raging over over these planets, um, but you can actually fight on the planets as well. These are fully rendered planets. Uh, I don't know if you guys have actually seen this, but I have, I have shown off the technology behind this game in the past. Um, and I've shown off how the planets work. Uh, but now there's even bases, and there's all sorts of other things that you can actually fight over and defend and capture. There's points of interest on the, the planets. There's, like, dogfighting potential. It's, it's really cool. So let's go ahead and let's check out this area down here. There's so much I feel like they could do with this. 
I feel like this is only scratching the surface so far. And while games like Star Citizen are really cool, um, one of the coolest things about this is that you can just get into the combat immediately. Like, you can get into these big, giant battles. Like, it's a competitive game. Um, which I think makes it even cooler. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a ways to go with it. Um, they could definitely make the gameplay even better. Um, I definitely think that they could also make the like the the controls a little bit more streamlined, and um, there's a lot of things that they can improve. But as it stands right now, this game is just fun. Like you can, and you don't need like it doesn't actually need a player population to play. I think the fact that it has like AI and bots that you can just have these massive epic battles with battles with, that's the coolest thing. Like, you can just get in there and just go. Look at this. This is so sick. We're going to try and see if we can find a... Uh, I want to see if we can find a ground battle. Because I know they exist. Here we go. I think that's a dock there, too. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, so here we go. So we're going to try to come in for a landing here. I feel like I'm in the Millennium Falcon right now. I'm trying to slow down. I think we have to keep our airspeed up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Unless it doesn't want me to. There we go. Bringing it down. This is so cool. I actually really like the flight controls in this game. I feel like they can improve it a little bit more. But I feel like there's a lot of space games that make the mistake of kind of making their game, like their 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 ship handling feel kind of no clippy. Where it just feels like you're in spectator mode. Um, and this game has done a really good job of, of making the ships feel like ships. All right, here we go. Look at that. There's a ship that just took off there. What is that? Looks like a a Corvette of some kind. Or like a a hauler? I think that's a hauler. All right, air braking. And here we come. Currently in VTOL mode. There we go. And we are. We should theoretically be docked. Let me double check the keybinds here. Systems menu. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Jack. Whoa. Okay, possibly the wrong button to do that with. Uh, but let's see if we can find. Let's see if we can find a ground-based battle. Um, I know there's going to be some. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is a currently a battle in space that's going on right now, which is a dope battle. But we're going to try to find something else. Um, these are some battles going around. Let's see, what's this? This looks like some kind of factory on the surface. So let's spawn in as possibly a bomber. Oh, we don't even have enough credits for that, really? Uh, we can spawn in as an interceptor, though. All right, so there... And then we're going to try and... I guess we can't spawn on you. Uh, What is this? Looks like there's some kind of battle raging there. No, 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 no. There we go. Right there. Let me in. Here we go.
Well, let me make sure I know how to actually... So, so you can actually fly down to these and you can dock. I think I docked at the wrong one for the last one, so let's see if I can dock here. I should theoretically be able to dock. Theoretically. Oh. Is that how that works? And then that should be able to rearm and repair. Alright, cool. So here's one of our ground bases. Our critical battle has started at Objective Odyssey Sin. Alright, cool. So you've got ground bases like this where a lot of uh, ground assaults will usually occur. Um, I guess there's not any right now, which is kind of a shame, but you know, hey, whatever. Unless we just took it. Did we just take it? Because now it's yellow. I don't know. Again, like I said, I'm still learning a lot of this. But we can take off and go straight into space if we want to. And we can fight over all of these different moons as well. Let's see, I don't know what that is, but we're going to go find out. Although I do think it's a little bit weird that even as an interceptor, you can like spawn in and then just use your jump drive and go to the other side of the solar system. Alright, here we go. Warp drive charging. Here we go. And we are away. Look at this. This is incredible. This is so cool. Look at us go. There we go. Look at that look at that sunrise or that planet rise. Oh, that's so dope. I really hope that they release this. I, I want to see more games with this. Like, that's the thing. I really hope that eventually Unreal Engine 4 or somebody else will get the tech to do whole planet rendering, and then this tech will just explode and everybody can use it. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right, here we go. This is so cool. Dude, I could play this all day. All right, I think we're out. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're out of the rings. Now we're headed to this other planet. We're passing one of these deep space relays. I'm hoping, I think the coolest thing you could do with this game is make it like Mech Warrior. Like, I really think that would be the coolest thing. So you could, like, go through, upgrade your ship, you know, manage all of your different loadouts and everything. I think that would be the coolest thing. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can hit one of these bases. I don't know what Odessa Sin is. All right, let's see if we can... We're going to continue flying overhead. We want to choose our target. I think we just passed over one of the base. Oh, there it is. There's the base. Alright, so we're going to start bringing this down. I'm going to attack this base. I don't know if attacking the base will do anything, but that's what we're going to do. Here we go. All right, and dropping out in warp. Three, two, one. Bam. All right, we're out of warp, and here we go. I don't know if this is going to have, like, ground-based defenses. I've never done this before. Here we go, guys. I don't know if this is about to be, like... The Star Wars Death Star run or something. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 
It don't matter if I hit the ground. Ah! Well, awkward. All right. So, uh, should have controlled my descent maybe a little bit better than that. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, this is a game that's really cool. Um, you should definitely check it out. This is called Infinity Battlescape. I'm still getting better at it. Here, I just spawned at this carrier right now. So this is like uh, one of the carriers that's in the game. A little bit of lag. Wait for that to pass. I don't know what causes the lag. It seems to be kind of random. Because here in a second it'll be just fine. There we go, and now it's good. I don't know if it's like loading the environment or what. There we go, now we're good. But yeah, this is amazing. This game is amazing. See, look at that. See, now it's running just perfectly smooth. We need to figure out what the hell is causing that lag, because the game actually does run pretty good. When it runs pretty good. But yeah, look at this. Look at this battle raging. This is amazing. This is so cool. So I'm going to tell you what. I'm actually going to learn how to play this game a little bit more now. Um, because I know, I know I'm doing everything wrong. Like, I need to figure out how to make... I don't even know how to fire countermeasures, unfortunately. Shit! No, 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 I just got killed by a missile. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to learn how to play this game more. This game looks amazing. I think it's super underrated. I think it has a lot of potential, uh, and I just can't wait to I can't wait to see where this game goes. Um, in fact, in order to just kind of drive this home, no, I don't want to quit to Windows main menu. Here we go. Yeah. Um, in order to kind of drive this home, like I think this is going to get even better. Um, there is a whole bunch of of content that I think is coming. There's a sandbox mode that is currently that is currently coming. Um, I've been watching them update this over time, and I think this is there's going to be so much more. It's going to be so cool. But yeah, all right. Besides that, thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, Blue Jack loves you, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.